Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rusty Road Gravel and welcome back to a sunny afternoon at the start of June. I'm back in the Ockle Hills um, and it's a lot better weather than the last time I was here. So today I'm hoping to explore up Glen Devon, down Glen Eagles and back over again Cord Glen. Um, it's a short but sweet loop, perfect for a sunny afternoon and this is where we're going. So we'll head up Glen Devon, past the shores of Castle Hill Reservoir and we'll start with a spot of roadwork up the A823 towards Glen Eagles and we'll pick up our first gravel track. Then it's a quiet back road that takes us above Glen Eagles and Okhtarada before picking up the trail along Clone Glen, past Muckle Law before heading down Corb Glen and onto the B934 back to the start. So I'd expected to start a bit further up Glen Devon. Um, the road is closed so I'm starting further round sort of towards Corb Glen a bit and we'll head into Glen Devon. There's the option not to do the A road up the Glen. Um, check out my other Ockle Hills video if you want to see those options. But today I'm just going to blast up the road, get onto the gravel and start heading down. It's a nice day. It's getting on in the afternoon, so I haven't got all the time in the world. So yeah, we'll do the A road, get ourselves over there. I've also bunged up my tire from the puncher last time. I've got the little worm in there, so hopefully that's going to stay in. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. No more punches today, please, tyres. All right, I think it's time we head out in this glorious weather and see what's what. First predicament, there's supposed to be a track down here, but it's all fenced off. So I thought I could pop round on this gravel and just pick up the bottom of the reservoir before hitting the road, but it looks like I can't. Here we go, here's a trail marker. We'll follow that one down. Oh, this is just asking me to be covered in ticks. Oh joy. <laughs> just down that little track there. Not too bad, apart from all the ticks I'm probably now covered in. <laughs> We're at the reservoir now, so let's cycle around it. So I think I'm quite lucky today, this A road's closed, so there's only local access. So this should be quite a treat, from the roadie inside me anyway, get a nice bit of closed road. Lovely. Well then, should we talk about this road? This is fantastic. They should close A roads more often. I've had a lovely time just belting along <laughs> with no traffic other than a couple of bikes and one or two cars. Ah, situation update for me though, um, I'm starting to get sunburned and <laughs> promised my wife I would take the sun tan lotion, which I did, then I forgot to put it on. Whoops, so I'll get in trouble for that later. Uh, the rear tyre's holding, seems to be doing good, that slug I put in, so pleased about that. And I think we're just about to get over the top of this little crest and start having a look to see what Glen Eagles is all about. Let's go and have a look. Uh, I'm having a total Garmin nightmare. So I'm still on the main A road and it's giving me fantastic views. But I'm actually supposed to be over the other side here, going along that gravel. I thought it looked like I should have gone over there. I don't know what the Garmin's done, whether it's just given up. So I'm gonna reset that and see what's going on. <laughs> Bother it. I see the error of my ways because I started not near the start and I went past the start finish line the Garmin just ended the route because it thought I'd finished. And I hadn't noticed because I was just ploughing along the A road. So I take it back, Garmin. It wasn't your fault, it was user error. <laughs> right, let's go find this gravel. Okay, there we are. Back on course. Garmin's happy, I'm happy. Let's go. Woo 
I enjoy doing these shorter loops where I don't have to put all the bags on my bike. It makes it feel so light and nimble. I just sort of hop on and hop off and bounce it around. So much fun. Still love this bike a lot. That was just lovely. What a lovely descent through the Glen. I recommend that to anyone. Super fun. Oh, bit of an unexpected kicker through this field. <laughs> Goodness me. So we're just on the quiet B road now, over the top of Octorada. Might be down there somewhere, can't really tell. But look at that view over there. So can you see that over there? It's Ben Lomond standing tall and proud. Sorry, I sometimes have a habit of standing in the way of what I'm trying to show you. Yeah, so Ben Lomond and the Trossics over there. Oh, it's day though, it's glorious. I keep stopping to look at the views, I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> so now we're into Leafy Clone Glen after doing a nice little bit of quiet B road. And again, I think that's exactly what gravel bikes are for. A little bit of gravel, a little bit of road, mix it up, explore where you want. What's not to love? I think sometimes, I know I especially get guilty of trying to find only gravel, 100% gravel trail, please. But actually, as I've maintained before, a nice good B road or unclassified can be just as good as a gravel trail and sometimes heck of a lot comfier. So that's Clone Glen done. That was nice up there through those trees. Really enjoyed that actually. Nice little trail. Now let's go and find this Corb Glen. So this bit of rough trail before Corb Glen is called Cadgers Yet or Cadgers Yet. That's kind of an odd name. I don't know where it comes from. If anyone knows the story of this name, please let me know in the comments. I have so many questions about this. So that was definitely the roughest stuff I've done so far on this. That was a bit more gnarly than the rest of the day's been. Still doable, just be a bit careful. So we're just pushing up this grassy hill here, which I guess just completes the, the bingo of gravel biking. Got a bit of hiker bike, got a bit of gnarly gravel, got a bit of road, got a bit of forest track, nice wide track. So actually this little loop is the perfect introduction to experiencing everything to do with gravel biking. I mean, I know some of you are desperate to find out what it's like to push a bike up a hill. I bet you can't wait to do it. And if you want to do it, I recommend this hill. Delicious gravel, here we go. Let's hit it. Oh, hello. Look at this. So apparently the forestry have been in and now they made this lovely gravel super highway. Well, 
I'm loving this Corb Glen descent. Absolutely brilliant. Quite a lot of the track's been resurfaced by the forestry by the looks of it. So you've got some lovely smooth bits and you've got some more chunky, rougher bits mixed in. So fast and slow, bumpy and smooth. I actually had a detour planned to go in there at some point, but I chose not to do it in the end. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. But I think an option exists if you want to, just to pop up. There's a track up the side of the hill that takes you out. You can do a loop up there, get a view from the top probably. But not for me today. Today we'll just finish off this, I think it's about okay to go and then back onto the B road and that's the loop complete. And then we'll sum up at the end. Excellent. And we're done. Back where we started a mere three hours ago. Um, 32 kilometers on the clock. We took a one hour 33 of moving time, the rest was faffing time. Climbed 553 meters. How about that? And I would say a lovely little loop. The, just the kind of loop you want if you're just, just trying out gravel riding and you're not quite sure if you like it or not. This has got plenty of safe road, um, some nice easy gravel, a bit of tricky stuff, a bit of hiker bike. You know, get a flavour for everything. And even if you don't want to do the big A road, you can do the cycleway footway along the side of it, which I've done before. Check out the link. <laughs> but yeah, what a lovely little loop. Really like that. I think the weather helped, obviously. I mean, glorious sunshine and still warm. I would say the Endura stuff still doing excellently. I'm still rocking the Reva top with the foil shorts over the Reva bibs. That is still my favourite combo. On a hot day like this, they worked perfectly. Super happy with them. This top was perfect, just, just the right amount of cover, I would say. And like the, the sweat wicked away, no problem. Even though I had a bag on my back, sometimes you suffer with a bag on your back, but this was no trouble. There's like a special sort of mesh material on the bibs, on the straps on the bibs. So that works well. Top works well, shorts work well. Everything works well. Even my tire worked well. <laughs> the plug stayed in place. Enough waffle. Like, comment, subscribe, do the things, push to a thousand, buy the coffees, buy the merch, and I will see you on the next ride. Thanks for watching everyone.